Okay, zero two concepts. The first page is just a reminder that you should turn on your object snap toolbar. So you can right click on any icon on any other toolbar and turn your object snap on and pull it over and dock it at the side. So this object snap means that when we want to draw a line and we want to snap to a particular point that we can come over here and click this snap to quadrant and it will work for one turn. It just uh, snapped right to that quadrant point and if we zoom in we can see there's no gap. It's right on the line. So you want to have this all the time and you want to use it in conjunction with this running snap and if we go into these settings uh, the ones that you want running are usually endpoint, centers okay, intersection, this one you don't want running and say OK. So if I want to draw a line and I want to snap it to the midpoint, right now you can see the end point is being the boss here taking over. I want to override it with just uh, a midpoint snap. That's this one. I click it and you can see that triangle shape tells me that that's a midpoint snap. So all the pictures are shown on your handout of what the snap little visual cursor will look like when you have that particular snap on. If I want to snap to the center of a circle, that's the center snap. It's right here on the object snap toolbar. Uh, right now it's running, so it came on for me. Okay, if I want to draw a polygon, if I want to draw a polygon, I can click this icon right here. It asks me polygon number of sides. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a triangle, three. I'm going to say the center is right here. I'm going to enter an option. By default, it's inscribed and I'm just going to accept that and I'm going to say the radius of the circle is two feet enter this radius of this circle is two feet and you can see the end result now I'm going to draw another polygon it's going to be a triangle with three sides so I'll enter to accept this input center of the polygon is going to be here and this time I'm going to type C for circumscribed enter and the radius is going to be two feet enter you can see that when it's inscribed it's uh, built within the circle this circle is imaginary I've just put it there to show you the difference and this is the one that's circumscribed puts a point here and here and here so it's built outside the circle. So one more time, polygon, five sides, you click to show it the center, uh, I'll do inscribed, I, enter, radius, two feet, enter. Done. Okay, the rectangle command. I'll do it the first method, rectangles using dimension option click the rectangle icon, click on the screen where you want the rectangle to begin. I'm going to type D for dimensions down in the command line. Enter. The specify length, what they mean is tell it the distance the rectangle will be across the x-axis. So if it's four feet wide, type that in, enter. The width, that what they what they're asking for is the measurement on the Y. So I'm going to say two foot, enter. And the last thing it's asking for, specify other corner point. If I click now, that rectangle will land here. If I click now, it will land there, there, or there. It has the four choices, so you need one last click to land the rectangle. Now you can also do it start point, D and press your space bar and it takes you to the same place. Four, two feet, and 
other point, you have to land it with the last click. Making a rectangle with a relative input means that we have to tell it the X and the Y, and this is how we do it. Rectangle command, click the start point, and now we type. To get to the other corner point, we're asking it from this point, from this start point, and that's the at symbol. But if you think from this point, go four feet on the X, X is always first, a comma, two foot on the Y, and then when we hit enter, it's done and finished. There's no landing it. It landed here because from this point I put in a positive four foot, so that meant it came to the right and the height was a positive two, so it came up and here was the other corner. That's what I told it. So let's try it again. Uh, let's put a start point here and it says specify other corner. I type from this point, go negative four feet on the X and go negative two feet on the Y and enter and it drew it the opposite corner was down here because we went negative four feet and negative two feet and here's the other corner. Okay, next page is using help. You can go to help anytime that you want and type in a command and it should come up anytime. Mm, it seems to be a little bit stuck. So I'll just wait for it to come up and I'm going to go and get my inquiry toolbar. I'm going to right click. Uh, my inquiry toolbar is already on. It's right here. So I want to find out the area of this rectangle. We have an area icon right here. So I'm going to click area. It says specify first corner point. Now here's an option object and it's capital O so I know I only type in O and I press enter and this rectangle when I click it it comes up with the answer right here. Now in contrast to that this rectangle was not made with the rectangle tool. It's all separate lines so to find the area I have to use a bit of a different method. I click the same area icon and this time specify first corner point. Here's the first point, number two, number three, number four. It's telling me press enter for total. So once I've gone around, I press the enter key and here's my answer. You can tell which one is a rectangle, which one with lines. Just when you put your cursor over it, they all get bold and you can see this is all made up of lines. If we want to know the distance of a line, we can use this icon, the distance icon. We click it, specify first point. So I want to measure from here, specify second point. I want to measure over to this point, and you click. And here's the distance here. It's not the delta x. Make sure that your command uh, window is three lines high, or enough to see the distance there. And this icon here is a locate point, so I can ID any point by clicking this icon and then clicking on a point, and it will tell me that relative to the zero, zero, this is about five foot three over to the right, and up seventeen, ten and a half, seventeen feet, ten and a half inches on the Y. And that's it.